welcome to another week. So, ooh, cold this one, this morning. Um, what have I been up to? Uh, not much really. Uh, been a few weeks, three weeks since I brewed actually. Uh, but as you can see, brewing today. What am I brewing? Um, well, it's kind of a bit of a bastardized recipe from the book. Um, it's supposed to be, was it, Amarillo single hop ale? Well, I'm bittering Cascade, so that's that out. Uh, the grain bill was supposed to be pale malt and carapulse, and that was it. So, didn't have any carapulse. So, I'll put in half a kilo of crystal 30 and 250 grams of torrified wheat. Ran out of base malt, only had 3.7 kilos, so that went in along with a kilo of Vienna. But hop regime, as it were, is going to be the same. It'll be 15 minute edition, 5 minute edition, and a whopping big flame out edition, and a big, huge dry hop. Um, panel's been running, been tweaking around, just checking my water temps. As we notice, I calib well. I use where is it? I use the thermometer as my base guideline, so I can check all the different temps. Because when I brewed the last beer, I noticed the when I mashed in, my temp was too high, so I had to add some cold water and give it a good stir before I could let the mash start. So I thought this week. I'll check the temp of the HLT and lo and behold it was sitting at 84 degrees even though it was saying 75. So I went in and tweaked the program or well, the setting on the, on the PID as it were. Uh, now we're sitting at 84. I'm going to let it cool a degree or two so it's going to slow things down a bit. It's only quarter past eight. Just might let that come down a degree and degree, and then we will uh, match in. So I'll show you the green bill. But anyway, here we go. So that's what the green looks like, all nicely leveled out. Um, so we'll get connected up. So we'll start. It's probably a bit cool in here. I know I had the mash tone in the house again last night just to keep it at room temp. Currently sitting at 17, 18 degrees. So we'll not get too much of a temp loss, hence why I want to let the HLT cool. So let's get started. For 16 litres today, so we've got 5.4, yeah, which is 16.3 litres, 16 litres a day. Um, today I'm going to make stick to my 40 litre total target to see if that's going to let me get to that magic 27. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll catch you in a bit, once we've mashed it. Okay, we've just finished recirking. So I lost a few degrees in temp, so I researched through the and there through the Herms coil or through the coil in the HLT just to bring it up a couple of degrees. Now I'm just about to transfer to the boil pot. I'll crank that open. Just 
all nice and clear. We soak them for about 10 minutes. See that? There we go. Yeah, it's been soaked for about 10 minutes. Nice colour. So, we'll get that in the bio pot and then we'll. Normally I would just fly, but I'm, oh, I can't be asked. It's already, it's already transferring. Um, so, yeah, we'll throw half the remaining liquor in and we'll fly a sparge. I'll just recirc it for 10 minutes, it'll do. It's, it's had already an hour 20 in the mash ton, so we're flying. Catch you in a bit. Baffing about and boil over. <coughs> Columbus butchering hop, 14 grams. Went to the freezer, find only I had 100 grams of amarillo left, and I needed 259. Mm. So in here we have 20 grams of amarillo and 12 grams of citra, and a flip whirlflock. That's our 15 minute addition. 5 minute addition consists of 20 grams of amarillo and 12 grams of citra and then the remaining amarillo which was 56 grams, yes I did say 56, 20, 20, it's 40, 96 grams in a 100 gram pack um, and then made up with 35, 39 grams of citra. So, I must do a order this week anyway because I've no base malt left. So I'll be ordering some more Amarillo as I usually do. So that is the hop schedule. We'll be dry hopped with 100 grams of Amarillo but I'll probably just mix it with a bit of citra so it should be a good hoppy ale and it's not going to be a single ale anymore it's going to be a twin a hop ale so there we go or triple if you count the bitter and hops right catch you in a bit okay <coughs> we're doing a 75 minute boil because I did use an extra two litres today deliberately because I was still getting just under five bricks when I stopped sparging. So otherwise if I hadn't left it would have been six, seven. So I've done an extra 15 minute boil and as you can see I've upped the wattage to give it more vigorous boil this week. So here we go with our 60 minute addition. And the timer starts now. Right, time for the chiller. Warflock. Down a wee bit, and time for our fifteen minute addition. All right, see you in ten for the five minute. Right. <coughs> five minutes to go, flame addition. Right, five minutes to go and we can chill to 80 degrees. Okay, we are down to 80 degrees. We get our 20 minute steep addition in. 95 grams of amarillo and citra mixed in. Oh, you're steamed up. Come on, on steam. It's cold enough in here. Crank open the valve. Just prime the pump as we do. There we go. And 
We are whirlpooling. See you later. See you in 20. Right, get this video finished up. So this supposed to have been a single hop eel, turned out to be three hop. Uh, so I used Columbus or something, uh, Columbus for bittery. I think it was. It's been such a long time since I brewed this. And I used Amarillo and Citra because I didn't have enough Amarillo. So Amarillo and Citra go well together. And as far as I remember, the brew day went fairly well. Turned out about 5%, I think. 5, 5.5 in the bottle. Bottle opener. So we get this cracked open. Nice wee hiss. So we get the pour on. Now, admittedly, this has been in the keg uh, bottle quite a while. Nice golden colour. Over to a steady pour. Well, as you can see, nice and clear. Glass is dirty, excuse the glass. You know, it is fresh out of the dishwasher, it's got that muck on it. But anyway, yeah, you can see, fairly well carbonated. Small cap, didn't pour it properly. So, I've had a couple of these and the keg's finished because this was supposed to be put up before Christmas. But anyway, still get that fruity smell from the hops from the late editions, which is cool. Aroma is dying down, it's not as prominent as it was the keg. So we'll get cracked in. Oh yeah. Probably needs to be drunk fairly soon. Fruitness has faded but it has been in about six seven weeks so I'd say that's probably the reason. But when it was fresh Cracking beer, absolutely cracking beer. Very light, a little bit crisp. The malt is starting to come more through now that the hop has starting to fade back. <coughs> Definitely gassy, as you can see. Still, still going 19 to the dozen here. But yeah, when that was on tap, we'll have to get the rest of these finished off. Oh, could have drunk it all day. All week. Really fresh, fruity. What you expect from Amarillo and Citra together. Cracking co hop combination. So yeah. Can't believe how clear. I suppose then it has been sat for pushing two months, I think. So... I'll get this video finished up. I think it's quite a long one. Um, and I'll see you next week. So take it easy. And uh, Dropkick Nate is next. Next beer I'm going to brew. So you'll see me brewing that. Cheers.